How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video we have brand new diamonds including two 98 overall signature series cards in Matt Williams and Yadier Molina. Two really good cards. This one is a third baseman, a brand new legend to the game from the San Francisco Giants. This card is going to be absolutely amazing at third base. A power hitting third baseman with solid fielding. I'm going to be breaking down his stats here in a second but uh Yadier Molina is the other one. I'm going to be highlighting him as well. One thing to keep in mind with these World Series rewards is Bruce Suter and Alex Gordon are available. The other two guys are not available in this pack from what it seems like. I'm not sure if when you actually open up the pack, you're going to have the rewards from the first season as well. But anyway, we do have two brand new signature series cards. I'm definitely going to be to pick the Brett Boone or Don Mattingly or anybody from the first season. But this 98 overall Yadier Molina is definitely solid. He has 101 contact versus right, 98 contact versus left, 69 and 74 are his splits for power versus both uh, handedness, and then 114 vision, 72 discipline, and 112 clutch. That's going to be nice. 78 bunt, that's not going to be really important, but 95 fielding, 94 arm strength with 95 arm accuracy. His blocking is at a 96 as well, so a little bit better than Pudge. He might be a better defensive catcher than Pudge is. I know I'm not going to have Pudge right away, so I'm going to definitely be going for this Yadier Molina card. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try to get him with stubs if possible. If you uh, if you get one of these cards in, at the beginning of the season, like in the first week, then you might be able to sell them and then buy back both of the cards later once they drop in price. But 298 overall signature series cards. This card is solid all around. I mean... His speed isn't all that great at 41, but 41 speed for Yadier Molina isn't bad at all. This Matt Williams is really nice. 98 overall card, uh, 95 contact versus right, 107 contact versus left, 96 power versus right, and 121 power versus left. So this card is going to absolutely destroy lefties. So the signature series cards that you're going to have are going to be, uh, this card is going to excel versus those cards, especially with that 92 vision. 80 discipline and 97 clutch so he's going to perform pretty well with guys in, on, in scoring position he also has shortstop as a secondary position with 88 fielding so he is going to have a gold badge out there but definitely solid a lot of, i mean it's an upgrade from my third baseman in uh lindor or jose ramirez those are kind of the guys i'm using right now it's definitely an upgrade when it comes to power and vision and stuff like that with the same type of fielding that those guys are using so Anyway, I think that uh, this card is definitely a nice card. This is a brand new legend that we we can now have in the game. And then as far as the remainder of this video, I am going to be giving out some other tips as well. But uh, there are a couple other diamonds I first want to include in this Salvador Perez. He, this card really isn't anything special. I mean, uh, 80 contact versus right, 59 versus left. He's got 72 power versus right. After seeing those other cards, this card looks... Uh, not not any good at all to be honest with you. His fielding is okay. His speed's at 36. I mean, Matt Williams had 55 speed. Yadier Molina has 41 speed. This next card, Ron Guidry, is all right. He also doesn't have a splitter. If he had a splitter in like he did in MLB The Show 17, then this card would be a, a lot better. I mean, he doesn't have that that pitch. He only has the slider, the curveball, the four seam, and the two seam. He's all right for an 87 diamond, but. I mean, I'm going to try to get five signature series pitchers as my starting five in the rotation. I'm close to getting the Verlander, which is, I'm going to talk a little bit about the third inning program in this video as well. They didn't release any new headliner packs or any packs like that, but the 298 overall uh, World Series rewards are definitely nice cards to, to have in this game, along with a couple other diamonds. But I wanted to quickly show you guys that I don't have the voucher done in this third inning program but i do have 288 stars and they are probably going to release more missions uh, yet to come for more moments and everything but i was able to make it to a thousand three rating before the season reset so i will start in 650 there is a brand new season it's reset that's why there are new rewards uh, the other thing i wanted to talk about in this video is if you collect these gold cards in collections you can buy these gold cards for like 1000 stubs lock them in collect them and you don't necessarily have to have the diamonds, but then you can go ahead and quick sell them. So that way, if they do get upgraded to a diamond and you don't want them, or if uh, you just want to get the stubs back right away, just lock in the gold cards for 1,000 subs, quick sell them for 1,000 back. And you might even buy them for like 1,300. I'm just going to show you a variety of the, the teams that I did that for. Like Charlie Blackman is around 1,000. Herman Marquez 
is around 1,000. And so some of those guys you can buy, I haven't bought Daniel Murphy yet, but Trevor Sori is a guy that I use. I wanted to keep him. But the, some of these other guys I was selling back, quick selling them for 1,000 stubs. So that way I could use use it to build up and, and uh, complete a lot of these collections. Some of the teams only have like one gold. You can complete those collections pretty easily. Some of the silvers are more expensive. So you're going to have to pay your stubs that way. But at least for the gold cards, you can use this method. And uh, it might help you in the long run anyway. But I wanted to give a nice variety. I'm trying to get Willie Mays eventually throughout the year, but I'm not going to spend the money to get him. I'm going to try and use my stubs that I win from World Series. I might sell that Matt Williams or that Yadier Molina if I get him early on and try to build my stubs up, maybe complete some collections that way. I'm about halfway done. But I also wanted to include that you can do this with the flashbacks and legends. I did it with Jimmy Fox there as I... Bought him for a thousand off the market. Quick sold him. I wanted to keep Johnny Venters, but he would be another guy that I could do that with. He's a little bit more than one thousand stubs though. But some of these uh, cards in these programs, you can get a good amount of XP. The reason why you would want to do this is to get a good amount of XP, and you can unlock some packs al along the way. I mean, I did it with Michael Taylor, that Archie Bradley, and Drew Smiley. Some of those cards are pretty cheap on the market and uh, you just lock them in quick sell them you might pay about 100 stubs but it's the same price as like a silver card and then you're you don't have to lock these cards in anymore plus you that's that allows you to get your stubs back anyway you don't have to necessarily lock in stubs through the collection i just found this way out most of you guys probably already know this method but anyway i figured i would hop into some gameplay since since uh, there's just a few cards released, I wanted to include, at least give you guys a good solid video, so I wanted to include some gameplay. This is from the Speedster event. I was, uh, I got to 15 wins. I ended up selling that D Gordon for about 15,000 stubs, which is another good way to build your stubs up for World Series rewards or other cards that you want to get. I don't really know what happened on this play. I got a throw canceling situation there. That's happened sometimes, but... The opponent got a, a wild pitch to advance to third base. Then I ended up walking Gary Sanchez. It just wasn't a really good situation here in the first inning. I have Pat Neshek who's in the yellow with stamina. But anyway, I thought this event was pretty good. It's another good way to gain some stubs. Even though that D Gordon was an 84 gold, I sold him for some, some prices that diamonds are going for. Uh, it's a good way to build your stubs up for exclusive cards for your ranked season team, if that makes sense. Uh, like signature series cards. I was able to to uh, sell some cards like that Alex Gordon for 115k from last World Series and he's now going for like 35,000 stubs. I could easily get him back if I wanted to but I decided to use the stubs I sold him for and get Ricky Henderson and Roberto Alomar. Two other cards that I thought were much better than him and that would I would use in the long run of this game cycle. So stuff like that you kind of have to plan out your team. It's all about timing when you're working the market and I know I overpaid a little bit for the Signature Series cards. And I know some people are willing to overpay. So if you're one of those pe people that buy the Yachty or Molina early on right away, that's perfectly fine too. I'm not saying that's a bad idea to do. I've done it. We've all done it. We've all bought the cards right when they come out. And if you have the stubs, by any means. If you want to spend the money, by any means, go for it. But I think that this content in this game is really nice. I, I really give SDS an A-plus for content this year. I mean, just all the signature series cards. We had it had everybody guessing. I didn't think Yadier Molina or uh, or Matt Williams were coming into the game today, especially 98 overall signature series cards. There, I walked it off with Chris Davis. I finally was able to get something going in that event game. I almost lost that one. It was just a situation where I didn't really hit all that great. But uh, this is going to be my next. This is going to be the team I play with ranked seasons this upcoming season. I'm going to have a lot of gameplay with this squad. I'm going to try to make World Series early on in the week and get those. Get one of those cards like uh, Matt Williams. I think that's what the card I'm going to lean towards because I already have Pablo Sanchez as my catcher. He's pretty good for me back there. Yadier Molina is really good card, but that Matt Williams in third base, I think third base is a little bit uh, more of a thin position than catcher will be at the end of the season. Uh, I'm not really sure with that either, but anyway, I might end up selling them and keep the guy that I have. This is going to be the pitching staff. I have Clayton Kershaw, Nolan Ryan, Madison Bumgarner, Zach Granke and Cy Young. I am going to be getting that Verlander pretty soon. I'm at 288 program stars for the third inning. So I'll be unlocking that Verlander. I'm really excited to use that card. I think I might use him as my number three, even though he'll be my favorite pitcher to use, I think. Uh, that Zach Granke is really fun to use as well. He's honestly my favorite pitcher to use as of right now. 
I haven't really used Nolan Ryan all that much though. I've only used him I think one time in a ranked seasons game. But that's gonna do it for this video guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. I'm College Lefty and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.